I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Big felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Like, Jazzy, stay safe. All of the Barbies is pretty. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the Absolute channel. I hope you're all doing well. I It is Friday currently. I just got back from a job interview. It was actually my second interview with them. So I had my first interview yesterday and then I got called back for a second interview today, which was like a group interview. Um, I think it went well. I think it went fine. I'm not going to get my hopes up. I've learned not to do that, but it was as a sales position, which I've never done before doing interviews is good learning experience anyway and I do have another interview on Tuesday as well for a fashion internship so I've got a lot going on which is really rare but yeah I think the interview went well I think I presented myself fine like I said I don't have experience in sales so I had to I had to sell myself in another way which I always do through my personality which I think I did well so we've just got to wait to see they'll call us back on Monday to let us know. I am sweating so hard right now. It's so hot, but I'm not opening my door because that's embarrassing. But it is 11 o'clock. I'm going to head into the gym. The gym is right next door to this place I had the interview, so I thought I'd just dip down. We are doing Frosty Apple Oxy Shred today. She doesn't want to focus, but you get the idea. But yeah, that's what's been happening. And then for the rest of the day, just going to get ready, and then I'm heading to my boyfriend's. Yo! Good morning. It's been a couple of days. It is now Tuesday and we are getting ready for a, another interview. But we are about to get ready for my fashion internship interview today. This is the closest I've ever gotten to having any kind of experience in the fashion industry. To be honest, I'm proud of myself that my fashion portfolio was even good enough to get me an interview. So even if I don't get the job, I should still be proud of myself that my fashion portfolio was good enough to get me to that next level. The vibe, the aesthetic of this brand is bad girl. So they have a lot of leathers. They sell a lot of leather, lots of reds, um, blues, but mainly leather and reds. I'm trying to work around that. Do have these leather pants that I wear all the time. So I just think safe bet, I'm gonna wear those. For a top, I thought a leopard print could be a really good choice. So I've got this long sleeve leopard print top that I actually bought yesterday specifically for this interview. This is the Vision leopard print top leather pants with some little heels. I would love to have some red accessories to go with it, but unfortunately I don't own anything red. But we've just got to work with what we got. I don't own a lot of clothes right now and I'm too broke to buy any. So we are working with what we got, so I'm going to put it on and see what I feel like. I love it. This top is like everything she is so cute then i've got my leather pants and my heels and i've just added a pop of color with my purple bag i really need to get going so i will get back to you when the interview's over i am pissing myself like i'm so nervous guys i just finished the interview and i think it went oh i think it went really well i don't know if i told you what the brand was always for uh jagged and stone and i mean my fingers are crossed but i don't want to get my hopes up because Lord only knows, the universe knows how to tear me down when I get my hopes up. But if I don't get this internship, she gave me so much advice and help and tips for just everything. Like, but either way, yeah, I'm. I've, either way, I've got to be grateful if I don't get the job because she did give me heaps of advice, which I'm really happy for. She also told me that my portfolio was really good and she was really impressed and it stood out, which I was not expecting. That. My teachers always told me I would never be successful and that my skills were never good enough. So hearing that from you is made me feel really good because I, I never experienced that. I always got told that my work was so shit and that it wasn't good enough. And then to sit there and her tell me that she was so impressed with my tech drawings and stuff, like, literally tearing up. Sounds so silly, but, like, when you've experienced what I did with fashion school, it's just so nice to finally have a little bit of validation to make you feel like, yes, you know what, Kelly, you actually are good enough to work in the fashion industry because you were good enough to get to that interview level and to me that just makes me feel so fucking proud of myself i'm also on my period so shut up i don't want to hear it whatever the outcome is i'm going to be happy because clearly that interview had a really good impact on me and my self-confidence which 
is what unfortunately that's what I need going into the fashion industry I needed just that little boost of confidence and to be honest that interview and her comments have really helped me with that so shout out to her she's literally an icon she's given me heaps of tips to move forward with my own personal journey with fashion so either all like this just went well Good morning everyone. I'm having a bit of a slow morning today. I don't have work. To no surprise because I get one shift a week. Um, so I'm having a slow morning today. I It's 9am now. I woke up at 7am. I woke up like ravenously hungry like a fucking little rat. So I had to wake up and eat breakfast. I didn't want to wake up that early. And then I've just been doing some chores. I bake some brownies and I'm kind of just waiting around. I don't really have anything to do because I can't go to the gym until 11. I'm going to the filming gym today. So not my local gym. I'm going to the filming gym because I want to film a little bit of content. I actually went to film, I actually filmed my workout last week, a, a back workout. And then I looked at the footage yesterday and truly not to be a hater. Like, you know, self-love and all that. But I actually wanted to scream. <laughs> I wanted to scream like I had because I think because I've gained gained weight like all the definition in my back has kind of disappeared before my bulk I had a very toned muscular back um that I loved and I didn't realize because I haven't filmed myself training back since I started my bulk and then I realized oh wait it's gone and then now it's giving chubby chungus. Going today I'm going to film one of my lower body workouts just for my Instagram and TikTok. So if you want to check that out, it's just at Kili Pejovic for both of those. But yeah, those are the vibes of the day, really. I'm about to get ready for the gym. I thought we could get ready together. I also wish I had a more aesthetic background. Me and my aqua wall and my door. Like it's so ugly. But I can't be bothered painting repainting my wall that's just so much effort and to be honest I don't think I can be bothered so we're just gonna have to work around it. I decided I'm actually gonna film uh for you guys so I'm going to film my workout today um and put it in this week's YouTube video. To be honest I've been wearing makeup <laughs> all the time it's so bad I never used to wear makeup at all like literally ever um but I've just been feeling super insecure about my skin really textured skin you really can't see from far away but close up i have really textured skin it's all clogged i've got lots of milia and unfortunately i just have no idea how to fix it i just put on a little bit of makeup every day to make me look like i am living <laughs> I'm just going in with the Bondi Sands bronzing drops. I don't use foundation or anything like that just because I like quite a light natural look. So it's kind of like skincare in one as well. So it doesn't make me break out. It doesn't clog my pores or anything. So I can actually comfortably wear it every day, which I love. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer on. This is my favorite concealer of all time. The light coverage, so it lightly covers up the bags, but it doesn't fully get rid of them, which again, I like. So I just put a little bit on my under eyes and then also on my chin as well. I'm going to go in with a little bit of blush. This is my favorite step of all time. I love blush. I don't love this one. I'm currently using the e.l.f. one. This one blends so shit. I also don't really love the color coral. I prefer a really pinky. And then I'm literally just going to finish it off with mascara. It's super simple, but I feel like it just, I feel like my face feels brighter. I feel more alive. I feel like I look, I look like I'm functioning somewhat decently. So this little routine, I literally do it every day and it's honestly a lifesaver. I just got a call saying that I got a job. I applied for just a retail job at Assembly Label. They're opening up a new store near me and I had an interview with them last week and I got it. I'm so happy. I know like it's nothing special. It's literally just a retail job. But like I said, I've been on the hunt for a job 
for since February, to be honest, literally since February, and I've had no luck. So I'm just so happy that I've got a job. I think that I can work more than two, one or two times a week would be great. So I'm hoping I can get some really good hours. That's called casual weight rate. So I'm hoping I can get a lot of hours on a casual rate. Yeah, like I said, I just need a job so I can earn a bunch of money so that I can, you know, go and create my own goals through fashion, through my own business. So that's kind of just the goal. I just want to hustle for money at the moment. Anyway, let's channel this energy into our workout today. We are doing a mix of pre-workouts today. I'm doing Bahama Breeze mixed with Honeydew Melon. This is the best combo I've ever tried. Anyway, I'm going to head to the gym. I'm going to do a cracking lower body workout and I will see you soon. Good afternoon. I thought it was time to make a matcha. I've been to the gym. I've had a shower. I'm in my absolute dressing gown. So it's like two o'clock. It's literally the perfect time to make a matcha. So I thought we could make the matcha together and talk talk a little bit of smack. This is the matcha that I'm currently using. You can literally get it off Amazon. I have tried so many matchas and they all have kind of tasted like ice crack, but this is the best one I've tried so far. And it's literally like $23 off Amazon. It's fully organic Japanese ceremonial matcha. So it's basically the best you can get. I'm also so convinced, no, literally, I know for a fact that Half of these influencers and these people that I know, they don't like matcha. They don't. They're literally bullshitters. I know people personally and I know, have seen these influencers. And if you can't have matcha, guys, I'm really passionate about this. If you can't have matcha without sweetener, you don't like matcha. I've literally been with people who have had matcha like, mm, it's just not sweet enough. It just needs some honey. Babes, if you can't drink matcha without honey or sweetener, then you don't like the flavor of matcha because it's not meant to be sweet like honey. It's not meant to taste like honey. Babes, you don't have to like it. It's okay. I actually had a friend and she was like, having a matcha. She goes, it's just not sweet enough. I think I'm just going to add some honey to it. Don't drink it then. Don't drink it. It's matcha. It's green tea. It's meant to have a bitter taste to it. Don't drink it then. Like literally shut your lips and drink something else. Anyway, <laughs> I'm so passionate about that. I like mine really strong. So I typically do like one and a half teaspoons. About that much. You just put some hot water in there. Hot water from the tap, not boiling water from the kettle because... I don't know, they just say it's not good. And I've got my bamboo whisk and we're just going to whisk her. We're just going to go ham and we're going to whisk that bitch up. And literally just keep going until I see absolutely no clumps left. Because clumpy matcha makes me genuinely want to gag, throw up and shit all at once. It's absolutely foul. Okay, she is ready to go. Now, in my cup, I have ice and soy milk. Now, I am not an, an alternative milk kind of girly. I think alternative milk tastes like absolute ass shit, especially almond milk and oat milk. I feel like people are lying when they say they like almond and oat milk. Like, it, it's genuinely so gross. Um, I'm a cow titty milk all the way. I usually do lactose free, but... For some reason, I love the flavor of soy milk and matcha together. I think it just pairs really well together. So the only time I use soy milk is for my matcha. And this is the particular one that I used. I also really like bon soy, but this is probably my favorite. With soy milk, oh, about that much. Unreal. Do you have a look at that? Literally, 
take a screenshot of it and make your background photo unreal. Rummage through the cupboard and I found this. So we'll give her a mix. Oh my god, that's literally the perfect green colour. Unreal. Okay, three, two, one. Mm. It is literally so creamy. The soy milk makes it so creamy like a barbie. Unreal. I'm a doll, but I still wanna party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a 